Praise the Lord. I thank God for Apostle Michael Rupo and his wife. God bless both of you. Very established with me. I'm here to thank God for because on Wumba on Saturday by nine I approached the free medical center. I asked Pastor Wisdom whether I could coordinate the children and he gave me free opportunity because I like working in the church of God. And so when I entered the You didn't hear that. I asked my pastor if I can coordinate the children in the medical outreach. And so we did um I did pick the dead thing in a hall and they entered there, the chairs were arranged. Then and the chairman who me and her handled that place. God bless you, ma. As we were handling that place, the Holy Ghost took over her and she began to pray for children to receive the Holy Ghost. And so I don't know what just came over me. I started laying hands on them and I just believe you one day I'm going to be like a post to my care. And so they started. So they started falling under the Holy Ghost, and I could not believe that it was me. All I knew it was God. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. How many of you were blessed by the young evangelist? <laughs> you know, the first time I heard, heard him when he started talking, I was trying to whisper to Pastor Sonny, hope you people didn't tell him what to come and say here. Because I, I don't like things being rehearsed. Don't come on stage. Manage things. Let it be truthful. Let it be fresh. But when the guy proceeded, I knew that the spirit of wisdom is at work there. <laughs> There's no way no, anybody would have mentored him to do that. That is, his, that is his reality. Can we celebrate Jesus for that mighty... <laughs> My goodness... It's a beauty when children are raised in the way of the Lord. It's a beauty. He knows what he wants to become. He's already on course. Did you hear what the guy said? He said, I, don't, I, I didn't know what came over me. That's the anointing, by the way. It's, I started laying hands. Oh, are you all right? You started laying hands on your mates at the age of 10. See, that is, that is not just the move of the spirit. That is also leadership. That is excellence. That is audacity. Don't be an old man and sit down doing nothing. God is raising people. <laughs> we keep saying this thing here. I've been a Christian. I gave my heart to Christ in 1991. Somebody is baptizing people in the Holy Ghost. Winning souls to Christ at the age of 10. And we are going to the same heaven. <laughs> it said, they that win it so are wise. And they shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. They shall shine. See that man. I will give him scholarship to university level. <laughs> He doesn't, all his life, he doesn't need to think about education again. Will we handle that one first? <laughs> Wherever he is now, till he finishes his bachelor's, if he wants to do master's, he will do it. If he wants to do PhD, he will do it. Unless we are not here. My God. These are the kinds of people we look for. You, when you find them, guard them. Nurture them. Train them, equip them, because the potential I saw there can take nations. What a blessing. What a blessing. Can you celebrate Jesus for what he's doing? 